Let's get started with the foundation. I have my eyes and brows done, I have my skincare down, and I want to try the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin, the foundation. Unfortunately, uh, when I ordered, I took a while to order the, the lipsticks, um, the only available foundation sample set was the Light Medium Set 2. So these are the shades 13, 14, 15, and 16. In this set we have, and I'm reading from her website, number 13, light medium with golden undertones. Number 14, light medium with rosy undertones. I'm gonna avoid this completely. Number 15, light medium with neutral golden undertones. And uh, number 16, light medium with true olive undertones. If I look at them like this, the pink one is definitely too pink for me. And I think these are just gonna be dark. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, putting it out there but I still wanted to try it on and uh, see whether there are I don't know I will like the formula it will work for me this foundation is supposed to be a lightweight let me in the meantime find scissors uh, lightweight self-setting with a soft focus effect so I'm really curious I like lightweight they say it's a medium uh, medium buildable um, coverage best applied in thin layers and yeah I'm curious I did not have the best experience with her um, highlighter uh, elevated glow highlighter I've had videos here and on Instagram talking about it and um, yeah it just didn't work out for me so uh, I would not have bought the full size of the foundation at all um, but having samples is a very, very smart move, especially because the foundation is not launched yet. And um, yeah, having samples of the colors means that people are more likely to try and maybe get hooked on it and like it um, more than just hoping that it works um, when bought online. So I'm trying to open the little pots right here. So, let's start with shade 13. And I'm going to apply it here and blend it down my neck. Yeah, these are kind of the shades I wish I was <laughs> in a tanned world in which I still lived in Italy. Then we have shade number 15. Oh, this one is actually not bad at all. Still a touch too dark, I think but I could make it work. And then number 16, which is the olive undertone, which might be too gray for me, yeah. I have more of a peachy undertone um, or maybe overtone. Uh, my shade of foundation right now is the 2WP by uh, Dior. And maybe I can actually swatch it next to these. I don't know, on my chin. You see that it is a little bit lighter and a little bit more peachy, but I think the second one here is the one that might suit me the best, and that is shade 15. I'm gonna remove this. The formula, just as a first impression, is quite liquidy, but not uh, as runny as, for example, the, um, the Dior Backstage Foundation. So I just dotted it in places, and I'm going to take my Nabla foundation brush to apply it. Yeah, this is a touch dark, I would say. And I haven't self tanned my face in a while, so I am a little, maybe a little, like, I could get a little bit deeper, but I did self tan my body, so, so if it fits my body, it would be even better. And you can see uh, the coverage is actually really lovely. This is without, this is with. It is not sticky, it blended out really, really nicely, and it's not very high coverage. I like the feel of it a lot. Maybe on the other side I'm gonna try applying it with my fingers, since I've been liking doing that with the, um, what is it called, Fenty Beauty Ease Drops. Oh, and it seems like then it goes much a longer way with, a much longer way, English is difficult, with the, with my fingers then, with a brush. Obviously there's gonna be less product absorbed with the fingers than with the brush. 
then a little bit on my forehead I mean this this is too warm even and too dark for me I wonder if set one uh, or like I'm sure that set one of the lights will actually be the right one for me and she says it's buildable so in principle you can add a little bit more when you feel you need it I always have a lot of pigmentation on my chin from all the hormonal breakouts that I get so I'm gonna layer that on there a little bit and I'm working from home today so it is a good time for me to do check-ins as well I think actually I like the application with the brush and with the hands which means I would probably normally choose the the brush because I don't like that now I have dirty hands and I need to go clean them in the bathroom before I continue my makeup but instead of doing that I will just clean them with a tissue now my face is done and I still have quite a bit of product in here I think I can do at least one or two more full faces and this is a amount of coverage that I really like so far feels really really good I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer I'm using my Kiko one and the Sun is coming out so I'm sorry if you see weird shadows and here is a real close-up of the skin I think it looks really really good I'm not even mad at the shade to be honest and um, it feels really good not too sticky that you say oh I feel I feel it on my skin uh, it is a little bit darker than my neck that for sure <laughs> so I would go a few shades down probably but the undertone is good to know I really like it I really like it you guys for reference, my shade in the Laura Mercier Tinte Moisturizer is 2W1. I am a bit darker than a shade 5 in the Fenty Ease Drop. This is a slightly light for me. As I said, the 2WP from uh, Dior is the one that suits me best right now. And I have been using Level 2 Laura Mercier and Estee Lauder in general. I have 2N2 in the double wear, but um, I would probably work with a W one or W2 there as well and I am a Nabla close-up foundation in L50 so those are the comparisons that I can give you I have now applied cream bronzer and blush and I will powder this half of my face with my Nabla close-up setting powder and um, I always set my foundation by the way so that is something that um, I need to keep in mind but Lisa Eldridge says that this is a self-setting foundation so we're gonna see on this side I'm not gonna set it on this side I will and then we will see how it wears during the day next up in this uh, order I picked up two Lisa Eldridge velvet lipsticks I already had velvet jazz and um, I got sucked in to buy more. I bought a new shade called the Velvet Cinnabar. I already tried this one. This is a deep burnt orange type of shade. I had it on yesterday. And the other shade I bought is Velvet Affair, which is a brownie nude. Now what I wanted to do is actually show you the comparison between these two uh, lipsticks and similar shades in my collection but first let's try them on my lips shall we I am going to start with velvet cinnabar so this is a absolutely Alice shade it's a rusty um, burnt orange type of shade it it suits me really well I find it's really a shade that I am um, going to wear a lot on the other hand I also think I'll have a lot of similar shades so let's find out so 
This is Velvet Cinnabar, the new Lisa Eldridge shade. And then let's go into MAC Chili. And it is lighter and brighter, but the tone is very similar. Then I have MAC Marrakesh. Which I want to say is, <laughs> is the same color. Yes. So MAC Marrakesh is maybe a fraction deeper, but it's almost the same color as Cinnabar. I thought so. That's why I love it so much. I love Marrakesh. And I also wanted to swatch Retro next to it, but Retro usually is, is a bit more pinky toned and less orangey. Also, my Retro is broken. <laughs> so sad. And um, I wanted to swatch Too Faced Gingerbread Man, but I think this one is much more orange. Or maybe not even that much. It's a little bit more, yeah, it's more orange and more, more vibrant than Cinnabar. I also have Mac, um, Nabla Nolita, which I'm gonna swatch with the right side up, which is a little bit more pinky toned and less dark. Yeah. And finally, I don't think this will be a uh, a dupe but this is Brick by Dose of Colors and this is a much deeper version of that same color family. So here are the comparisons. I think uh, Marrakesh by MAC is extremely similar. Um, the formulas are different so uh, the Lisa Eldridge Velvet formula is a bit of a more soft focus. It's a hybrid I find. It's somewhere in between a MAC matte and a powder kiss. It has the same feeling as a powder kiss on the lips with a tiny bit less silicone feel. So um, it's lips less than a powder kiss. It has also a bit of a la longer lasting power I find but not as long as the uh, MAC mattes. So Marrakesh for example will last longer than Cinnabar and um, you have a bit of a fuller uh, pigmentation in the, in Marrakesh, whereas you can see that the the finish of the uh, velvet from Lisa Eldridge is a little bit more soft focus and silicone-y and she calls it velvety. Um, so that is the difference and the comparisons with Cinnabar. Next up is the shade Velvet Affair and this is a fresh, fresh bullet. It's so beautiful. She uses an imprint on the outside to make it look like actual velvet and it is so beautiful. It breaks my heart to use it but I'm too curious to try this on. Okay, surprising. Not the color I was expecting at all. Um, this is much more light but also with a white component in there I find. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe it's the fact that I put it on after Cinnabar that looks so intense, but this looks... Mwah. It has a little bit, a touch too much grey for my liking and um, I'll have to get used to it. I'm gonna wear this shade uh, throughout the day and um, I'm gonna try to get used to it. Uh, right first impression, I didn't like it. I'm going to try to find some comparisons for you. Here is Velvet Affair. First shade that I wanted to compare it with was Velvet Teddy actually, because I was curious. Velvet Teddy is pinker and more gray, that for sure. And then uh, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which is lighter. Is this pillow talk? This is pillow talk. It is, it is lighter. So actually on paper this would be a perfect nude for me. I don't know why I'm so thrown off by it. Um, MAC Brick Through Powder Kiss Lipstick. I think this is brighter. Yeah, this is a brighter coat shade in itself. This is We Makeup If zero, uh, 102. This is a recent nude that I bought that is a, a lighter and more peachy, I guess. This is also creamy, 
lipstick. One of my favorite, which is Nabla Dreamy Liquid Lipstick in Adam's Dream, which is one of my favorite nudie brown shades. It is a deeper. Um, Dose of Colors Truffle, which is one of the lighter nudes that I have which is indeed much lighter and more pink. Quite similar to Velvet Teddy actually, but I prefer this one to Velvet Teddy usually. And finally, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Hudson, but this one dries quite dark, so... I can show it to you like this, but it's, yeah, it is already darker than Velvet Affair. On paper, it should work really well for me. I think it has a touch of grey that is throwing me off and uh, that is what I am seeing right now. I would say none of these are dupes, but at least you can see the difference between the different lipsticks. Finally, I am going to swatch the other sh uh, lipstick that I have from her Velvet collection, which is Velvet Jazz. And um, this I've already had for a while, you've seen in videos and on Instagram, this is a deep red. On me, it's quite neutral slash cool toned. It's not per se a cool toned red. Let's start with MAC Diva, which is on me like almost a berry. Uh, it's a much cooler tone and a little bit deeper red tone. We have Dubonnet, which is a warm tone. Red, it's a little bit warmer than Velvet Jazz. And then there is Russian Red, which is a bright neutral red. And you can see that it's much brighter and it's a little bit warmer actually than Velvet Jazz. Then one of my favorite dark reds that I have is Dark Heart by Mulak Cosmetics. And that one is a little bit deeper, but the same undertone as Velvet Jazz. This is my wedding lipstick. This is Velvet... No. This is Fire Roasted by MAC in the Lip Tensity formula. And actually, it is a very close dupe. If not, um, Fire Roasted is a little bit, a touch smudge warmer, but it's very, very close actually in color. From the new MAC collection, Avant Garnet, which is brighter. It's a little bit lighter and maybe a little bit more saturated. Yeah, it's a little bit more saturated of a color. And the final one that I wanted to show you was from Clio um, Makeup. This is Choco Red. Which is also one of my favorites. And this one is deeper color, more similar to uh, Dark Heart than to Velvet Jazz. So here are the comparisons of Velvet Jazz. I will take proper pictures of these and you'll see them on my Instagram eventually. Um, but I hope that this was informative and helpful. Um, I like the formula of these in the sense that they feel very nice on the lips when you apply them. They are, um, yeah, very pleasant to wear. I do see that on the long term, uh, during the day, they start feeling a little bit dry and uh, they don't fade in the most, on me at least, not they don't fade in the most um, pleasant of ways. Like I had Cinnabar yesterday and I ended up with only my lip line, whereas usually my lipstick kind of fades a little bit better during the day. But this one, because it dries up a little bit, it doesn't, you cannot just press your lips together and then blend what is left. Um, so that was a little bit my hesitation in buying this, this, these new lipsticks. And, um, yeah, I think Affair is growing on me already, yes. I think it was the shock of having Cinnabar on first and then putting Affair on. I should have done it the other way around. Um, I think Affair is growing on me, that's good. <laughs> These lipstick retail for 32 euros and um, ship from the EU 
to the EU and free shipping is above 59 euros, I believe. So that's two lipsticks. Um, I don't know yet the price of the foundation. I am expecting it to be on the 50 euro mark, to be, on, to be honest. What do you think? That's kind of, I feel like that's kind of the price range that she's going for. And I think that would be a little bit steep for me unless this is like perfection. And even then I probably would like to order the sample set like medium one um, to find the perfect match because I love I think the color of this on my face looks good, but it is a little bit darker than my body. Not a lot. Actually, to my chest, it's similar. I should just fake tan my neck better then, I guess. <laughs> but it, I, I can pull this off. Like, it won't look weird today. But um, I think I need a slightly lighter uh, color. I'll figure out what it is, or I'll try to scrounge if someone of my friends has the set and doesn't suit this color. So that is about that. I will check in for the foundation during the day, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you in a moment. And a few hours for my time, a moment for you. <laughs> so here I am, we are seven hours and 40 minutes after application of the foundation. And just to remind you, I powdered this side and I did not powder this side. Um, small comment is, of course I ate, so the lipstick went away, I'm a little bit sick, so I blew my nose a few times, but I must say that overall I am so impressed. This looks very nice, it bunched a little bit on my glasses here, but it, um, it can also be uh, the concealer, I know that that uh, is a little bit on the drier side, but everywhere on my face I think the foundation still looks great. On my forehead, you see, everything is still there. I am quite impressed, I must say. Um, I really, really hope it's not a 50 or 60 euro foundation, but um, I'm first impression is really positive. I am definitely going to uh, use the rest of this again and um, possibly wait until the um, sample sets are back in stock to buy the uh, set down. I think you get it for free if you purchase a lipstick um, or you pay three euros just for the card. So I, I think I will be paying for the card unless Mariam convinces me that I need more lipsticks, which I would not exclude. <laughs> but so far I am super impressed. It looks really, really good. And um, I would definitely test it out on a day that I also go to the office so that I have a, a fuller day because then usually my days are more than 12 hours in between applying the makeup and removing. Uh, but today, since uh, the light is escaping me and the sun is setting, I thought I would do this last checking at the around the eight hour mark. Um, very impressed. Definitely very impressed. If I actually manage to hit the right color, it might be my next foundation once I finish everything else. So that might take a while. Um, anyways, I hope this video was useful and that you enjoyed it. Let me know what your impressions are if you did buy any of her project products uh, recently. And uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Let's hang out. There's a lot of videos that I made and I'm making. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.